Data entered for full-time teacher salaries should reflect the new or current school year. Enter only full-time teacher salaries. Use the same group of teachers for this section and for teacher salaries by years of experience. Include only teachers that have been hired at the time you are completing this form. Include only teachers who are employed full-time at your school and who are teaching at least 51% of the time. Notice teachers in their first year of teaching are in year one, second year in year two, and so on. For base salary, do not include stipends or allowances of any kind. For total salary, include base salary plus any stipends for coaching, dorm duties, supervision of extracurricular activities, and stipends paid to teachers who also serve as department chairs. Do not include housing stipends or allowances. Be sure to report the amount for an individual teacher's income when reporting the high, low, medium, average, and starting salary. The remainder of this recording reviews tools and techniques that you can use throughout data entry to have a successful experience. The recording is identical across all categories of data. If you've already heard these tips in another recording, you can skip the rest of this video. First, we will review the tools and techniques entering data online, and second, entry using the export template. Each subcategory of data starts with notes about the data to be entered in that subcategory. Often, you'll find a note about whether the data to be entered are for the current or new school year, or for the prior year. For each table of data to be entered, the instructions highlight important information for entering data in this section of the collection. Be sure to review the bulleted notes. The first section or sections of data entry will be core questions asked of all schools entering data in Dazzle. Toward the bottom, you may find tables of questions added by one or more of the associations using Dazzle and tied to your school. You can fill in the tables with last year's numbers and then go through and edit them. This is a particularly useful approach in areas where the data don't change much from year to year, such as school characteristics. You can use the notes feature to record useful information about the data point you've entered in a field. This could include an explanation of an unusual value or notes about where you found the data in your school's records or systems. You can hide or show the notes as you go through data entry. You can view prior year notes by going to Manage Data, Update School Data. From Update School Data or the Data Collection homepage, you can also download your prior year's entry and include notes. As you enter more data, it can become difficult to find the fields that need to be filled in. Click Highlight Missing Data at the top of the page to find those fields. The system will highlight with pink stripes any fields on the page that are missing data, making it easy to find them and fill them in. To find definitions relevant to a data point, mouse over the question mark icon for that row, column, or section of data. Use the NA button to designate a field or group of fields as not applicable to your school. This will mark the fields as complete and will show them as such in your progress bars. Click Save or Control S often to keep your work. Dazzle does not automatically save the data you enter. Clicking Save or Control S will make sure that your work does not get lost if you suddenly lose your internet connection. Shaded cells are calculated by the system based on the numbers that you've entered in other fields. To make the system rerun the calculation, change one of the numbers entered and click the Save button or Control S. Be sure to click Save or Control S to save entered data. If you see Success with Alerts, be sure to review and resolve any alerts. When entering data in the Excel template, a few essentials to keep in mind are You can use email to pass the spreadsheet from one member to another to enter data directly or upload it to Google to share across your team. Please be sure that the only changes you make to the file are to enter information in the fields. Do not split up the file or copy pages and send them separately to various team members. The file must stay intact to properly populate the data you enter back into Dazzle when you upload the complete file. And remember, the person who downloads the file must be the same person who will upload the file to Dazzle when the time comes. Several subcategories have an instructional video to highlight important information about the data entry within that particular subcategory. Mouse over the red triangles to view instructions, definitions, and descriptions. Enter your data into the fields in each table. Be sure to save along the way. After entering some data or a full data collection part, Upload your work to Dazzle to take advantage of the online tools to add notes, find missing data, or mark a field not applicable. And check your data quality. Whether entering online or after importing, take advantage of the Review Data tab in Dazzle to ensure quality data throughout your data entry. And 
be sure to click save or control S before you log off. And you can pick up where you left off when you log in next time.